Um, Ooh. Oh, God. Okay. Also, Leo won that set. I didn't even process that. Wow. I mean, as soon as I saw Isabel, I was like, Leo probably wins. I just have not been keeping up with the score count because now we got Rafi X versus Louis Money and... Uh, I've heard that a lot of Zero Suit mains say that this matchup is uh, unwinnable. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just any small character is tough for Zero Suit, but also yeah. if the small character hits this hard, mm -hmm. it's way worse, you know? Yeah. Maybe, maybe not unwinnable, but just definitely difficult. Yes, yeah. And Rafi does live in New England, though. So, you know, him and Mario have to play all the time. I hate that one. <laughs> You, it, yeah. it makes a lot of assumptions. You're like, yeah. yeah, these guys have to play. Especially when it's like Japan. And you're like, yeah. you don't realize Japan's like a country, dude. Like, yeah. You live in Japan City, right? <laughs> it's also, like, who cares? Rappi just kind of took that first stock swinging. Oh my god, yeah, actually. I thought it was two stocks each, but nope. Blew him up. Do it again. Oh, it takes oh. a very special mind. Wow, at that, getting every number. Yeah, dude, I love the 89 combo. It's so, it's so <laughs> sick. It takes a very special yeah. mind to play uh, Game & Watch, and Louis Money is not uh, not activated it just yet. Like, you're saying mine, and I think that's what the problem is. I think he's thinking too hard. There we go. Yeah, do it again. No, wall dash, wall dash tech's acceptable. Yeah, I think he's starting to channel it, because that up tilt was just downright stupid yeah no reason to do that how do you feel about game watches changes in this game not from like a gameplay perspective but from like aesthetics now he has faces uh and, like, has i think i i think like from a design perspective it's incredibly better because he just had no life he was like honest to god like a blank slate he had no personality yeah and even though i'm not gonna say game of watch is bursting with it but I think it just makes him feel like more of a character because the biggest thing a character can have is eyes, right? Like, it, it sounds like a weird thing but from a marketing and advertising perspective. Like, it's if characters have eyes, you can just understand them more. They're so expressive, as well as eyebrows. Yeah, and even though he doesn't have, like, brows. It's a window to the soul. It's But the thing about Game & Watch is that it's so hard to make thumbnails for Game of Watch, speaking from my experience. Because there's oh, no way to really... Think of that. Yeah, there's no way to really pose this character. And he's not expression... He's like... I don't really... It's hard. Yeah. And with Alfred Plus, we had a Game of Watch Amiibo series where we had nine episodes of Game of Watch. And I. that's when I realized, how the fuck do I do this? Yeah, that's it, a very unique issue. Yeah, yeah, it's super hard. Do you have that with any other characters? Like, maybe Rob, I get, But even Rob is kind of expressive, you know? He, I would say Rob is definitely second on that. But all the other characters have, like, defined enough faces. There are some characters who are hard to pose, like Ridley, just because, like, he's just yeah. so scaly and doesn't really have a lot to him. Like, and also, if you want to crop out Ridley for a thumbnail, there's just so many sharp edges and everything. Like, it's so much more work than, say, a Kirby or Mario. He almost looks like Claymation, also, and like his yeah. like his like portrait icon, you know, and like he's just so sharp. He looks fine, but if I had to pick any character that looks like the least like Ultimate's art style, it would be Ridley, probably. Yeah, because Game of Watch at least works, despite being completely different art style. But it's like intentionally, you know. Yeah. I I I love the fact that they like. Even like little touches, like on his down smash, he doesn't just get a face, but like he grows hair. Yeah. You know, like little things like that. Like that. Like what? He's a, what a weirdo. I like the hat he gets on F tilt. I love that he smiles during his up tilt. I love that one. The like smile at the camera, like yeah, looking right at you. Whenever I play Game Watch, like I will intentionally try and get your character to like 180 so it kills because that's such a funny zoom in is look at the camera with the one yeah. you want to kill with the one or the two he just gems dude um it actually it's it, it depends you can kill with either because the left side is always one the right side is always two so like depending on which way you're facing you can mix it up tricky yeah. wow Rafi was up a whole stock but louis uh 
I'm not gonna make the joke, but he tapped into the state. The Avatar uh, State. Get it? No. Avatar State. Did I have the echo? Is this the echo? Yeah, you did. You did. Thank you. Can you announce this next match for us while you're there? Here we go. One second. Uh, depends on the characters. If I don't like the characters, I'm not announcing shit. I love how, like, everyone we've had today being you, me, Joe, our Twitter handles match the username perfectly. It's it's so nice. Oh, really? That's good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, I'll I don't you care about I don't okay. want to <laughs> I don't want to give Dark Pit any publicity. I'm sick of this character. One, go! I feel like I'm glad that Pit isn't good. Because yeah. do, you get, do you ever get annoyed by Pit just, like, existing, you know? It's so funny because, like, I'm a huge, like, Kid Icarus Uprising fanboy. Mm -hmm. But, like, Pit was my least favorite character in the game. He's just so boring, right? Like, it's it's not so much that. It's just that he's, like, aggravatingly dense. Oh, so he's stupid. Yeah, so no, he's very stupid. Um, like, honestly, Palutena made that game good. Like, I think Palutena is one of the best written characters in, like, video game history. I've heard you and some other people say that, and it always blows my mind because, like, none of that made it through here. You know what I yeah. mean? She has no style. She has no... Yeah, I mean, she's not playable or anything like that. She's just a, a talking head, essentially. Yeah. Um, but I think Kid Icarus Uprising is phenomenal. And I, I would... The controls are bad, but, the, like, the writing of characters who aren't Pit is phenomenal because all the secondary characters... And, like, even the antagonist, like, you love the antagonist because he's so charming and charismatic. So it's, sick. And it's not Dark Pit, right? No. Um, Pit is just stupid and sees a mirror and says, that's bad, and kicks through it, and he created an evil clone. <laughs> but, the, but the difference is that Dark Pit can fly, and he has a cool staff. Okay. Pit can't fly. Why did Pit destroy the mirror? Because he was bad. Also, why can't Pit fly? What? Icarus, dude. Oh, no, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Like, uh, Pit's, how Pit flew in Brawl was very much so how he flies normally. It's just that Palutena can grant him the power of flight, but only for five minutes. Huh. Yeah. Bizarre. God, he got edge guarded like hell, though. Yeah, Louis Money's doing an excellent job of, like, landing these arrows off stage. It just keeps, yeah. like, clipping his jaw. Oh, oh, no! That's it. <laughs> that, that was a rough game. That was disgusting. Like that was circus music, you know? That was very nasty. Well, well done to uh, Louis Money, <laughs> who just rolled over him. Can Raffi only play Rob? That, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. I like this one comment that said, oh, they're talking about character lore. Must be pools. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's good. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to leave this match to you. I'm going to get a water and go to the bathroom. So uh, do your best. I'm I'm on it. Ice climbers again. Go! Again? This is the third Ice Climbers I've seen personally. I feel like Ice Climbers Mega Man is like god awful though. And both these characters being from uh dead franchises whose best games were in the 1980s. Have a lot in common in that regard. Tony, do a bounty? Oh maybe I have one. Hold on. I might have. I might be able to pull something out. <laughs> but uh, I feel like Mega Man should be really good against Ice Climbers just because it's like so easy to split them up. Ice Climbers do so much damage early on, but then they just don't do anything after that, you know? The best game in the Ice Climber series was probably Ice Climber for the NES. If I had to pick one, you know? What would you do if tomorrow, chat, what would you do? If tomorrow they announced an Ice Climber sequel with a gritty reboot, hmm? Don't say die. You would. I kind of want to ask him this now. Did I give anything exciting? Uh, no. Oh, uh, Nana, Nana died. Nana died. So well, let's go. What would you do yeah. if? Well, one of the things we were speculating if the best Ice Climbers game is Ice Climber on the NES, which I think it is. Yeah. Um, 
I don't think there's I'm, a contest I'm there. I'm inclined to agree. Yeah. Um, second, what would you do if Nintendo announced a gritty Ice Climbers reboot with, like, a war weary like, like, uh... Like visuals is what I'm asking for. Yeah. Uh... Bethesda-style visuals. Bethesda? Okay, I thought you were just saying, like, still kind of cartoony, like, brawl gritty. Oh, no, like, no, no, mean, no, like, no. Bethesda gritty, like... They're, they're hard, is what you're saying. Yeah, 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 like a, like a dead island, dying light kind of open world. Like, you... <laughs> it's like an Ubisoft game where you just, like, climb everything. You gotta climb the mountains to, yeah. like... But it's, like, that kind of graphics, you know? I think, I would like... Be down. I think Kojima could pull that off. That Anna gets too close to the water and she gets eaten by a sea lion. <laughs> no, I, I, no! Hmm. Could you, oh, like... You I, I feel like that would be a lot like Death Stranding, though, right? Yeah. But with, like, a climbing game instead of yeah, walking. But you're climbing instead of walking. Yeah, exactly. Kojima would make it political? How? <laughs> I'm just thinking. I'm actually... My wheels are turning. How do you... Yeah. There must be a way. Um, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm not, like, saying no. I'm just thinking really hard. Global warming? Oh. The ice caps are melting? Maybe. There's got to be a way to do it. Oh, God. <laughs> he keeps doing that. He can't get back up. <laughs> this, this time for sure. <laughs> oh, no. I think he just accepted it at that point. Top player, PGR player, doesn't know how to snap to the ledge. Incredible. It was at Breath of the Wild about Bethesda. You know what? Ooh. I want Breath of the Wild was a monolith. W which one is monolith? Xenoblade. Oh. Because, okay. like, the, the Switch is not, like, the strongest console, right? Mm -hmm. But somehow, monolith still has the prettiest environments on, like, any console, and they do it all on the Switch. Like, I don't know how they do it. It has the, uh, I, I saw that screenshot that somebody posted of, like, the Smash stage with the two, you know what I mean, like, the thing. Yeah, that looks yeah. so good. What if you beat Ice Climber, the gritty reboot, and find the source of climate change, and it's that fucking polar bear with the sunglasses? Because he's just too cool. Well, no, I guess he would have to be too hot, and he's melting all the ice, you know? Oh, thank yeah. God we have this. This is a top player. Good player alert. Good player. The good player is here. Watch out for the good player. Snapping right, the lid. Cody, I'm, I'm just going to drop you a screenshot real quick of Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition just so you can see what this looks like. <laughs> like... All right. Send that to me. It, yeah, it's on oh Discord. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. Yeah. One. Is that like yeah. one environment? Yeah, that's an environment. Specifically at night. Oh wow! So they have di so there's like a day night cycle. Yeah, they also have different themes depending on day or night. Day is usually very upbeat, while night is very quiet and somber. But they usually have the same melody, but they kind of rearrange it. Is it one of those games where you need to go to places at a certain no. time? No. No. <laughs> no. You you stopped me when I said when you need to go places. You said no. Yeah. I was like, well, you yeah. gotta go places. You know what you were gonna say? Like it's just oh, yeah. like. It doesn't matter. It's just kind of like an aesthetic thing. It gives you the sense that you're progressing. Thank God, because I, I just finished playing Majora's Mask, and that Oh, was... yeah, no, it's not, not a Majora's. Woo! Yeah, like, that was... I can't say I know everything about it. If It happens to be like, some enemies only appear at night or something. Like, I, I don't true. know. But it's never impacted me. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Breath of the Wild you know is literally mean? made by Monolith. I mean, like, made by Monolith. Wait, Monolith made Breath of the Wild? I think they worked on it, but I don't think they... To make it maybe. like a Bandai Namco makes this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I got you. Second, well, I mean, like if they made it. That would be sick. Actually, certain quests are at certain times. Well, that that's side quests, and yeah, I don't yeah, think you're a side quest guy. Well, depends on the game. Okay. Final Fantasy VII the remake. I did all those side quests because they're like. They're right there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's how I like Psych Quest. I don't want to go out of my, like, super out of my way. Like, that's yeah. nice. I did think it was funny on that game where it's whenever you go from one chapter to the next, it's like, are you sure you want to leave all your side quests? It's like, yep. Uh, yep. yeah, am I, am I sure I want to keep killing bugs? 
I, I gotta I like kill all questions. the rats. If Xenoblade is your favorite video game, what's your least favorite video game? <laughs> <laughs> like one has to affect the other. Yeah. Does anyone have a least favorite video game? Yeah, that's right. I, like I have so. I don't think I've finished my least favorite video game, right? Yeah. The I know the worst game I've ever played, and like not like a jokey like one dollar you know Steam Unity yeah. game. I, I I've always like kept this in the back. There's a game called Stretch Panic on the PS2, which oh, is the worst. Game I know I've about ever Stretch played. Panic. I hated it. I it was I thought it'd be funny. I mm -hmm. I hated it. It was god awful. That's my number one least favorite game of all time. People say Zelda 2, but I, I just feel like that's like the easy answer. Like, did you beat Zelda 2, or are you just saying that because it's Zelda 2? Yeah. Yeah, it, well, a lot of people didn't even give it a chance, right? People yeah. meme on, like, people meme on Nuts and Bolts, and I hate Nuts and Bolts, mm -hmm. but, like, there's stuff there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, a lot of games, like, like think, think of Brawl competitively, for example. Like, so many yeah. people are yep, just yep, trained yep. that Brawl is bad competitively. Therefore, they'd be like, ha, tripping! You know, that they like, that's why Brawl's bad, because it has tripping. You know, it's like, there are tons of reasons why Brawl's bad, but, like, <laughs> that's not even, like, the biggest played. one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, people don't don't know what it was like, bro. People yeah. who are in Brawl are different people. It, like, we were hardened by that, especially in the competitive scene. Like, that was, like, oh, my God, dude. You had to love the game. <laughs> that was the biggest example of you work with what you had. Yeah. <laughs> Do the best you can. Raffi's doing the best he can. Just trying not yeah. to get three. It, it just feels like uh, the, the cards weren't in his favor, but he's still working with it. Inkling makes sense, though. Inkling is just kind of that character you can play, right? Well, sort of. Inkling's more of a Mario brother than I think people realize. Like, I she's actually just like, agree with that. Yeah, she's a very simple, like, um, more basic character in a lot of ways. Yeah. A lot but of my casual friends always awesome. play Inkling. Inkling's a very popular casual character. Well, I guess it makes sense, too, because she's, like, new, you know? So, like, yeah. you don't have to have a prior attachment. You just see Inkling, you're like, oh, that looks cool, or, hey, I know Splatoon, and then you and jump Splatoon on Splatoon is, like, pretty big, especially, I would assume it makes... It's like baby shooter, right? Yeah. Not calling it a baby game, but, like, if you're a mom and you want to get a shooter for your kid who wants to play shooters, are you going to get Splatoon or Call of Duty? Damn! That was an insane comeback. Lucas wins. Lee Money's nice, bro.